Thank you for joining us on Oshun Decides, where we bring you updates about the ongoing gubernatorial election in Oshun State. I am Abisola Adebayo. The governorship candidate of the Accord Party in Oshun State, Aki Ogumbiyi, has frowned at the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, over the slow process of the ongoing governorship election in the state. Ogumbiyi spoke to journalists after casting his vote at Uni 3 Ward 5 of Methodist Primary School in Ileogbo Town in the Ayedire local government area of the state. However, the Accord Party candidate maintained that it is confident that he would win the election. The Oluwo of Iwola and Oba Abdurashid Akombi has declared that vote buying cannot stop in Nigerian democracy with the way politicians run the system. The monarch explained that the menace could not stop until the government do the needful and allows the people to enjoy the dividends of democracy. The traditional ruler made this know while speaking to journalists after casting his vote at Unit 1 Ward 2 in Iwo Town, Iwo local government area of the state. The monarch also maintained his stance on delivering over 90 thousand votes for the All Progressives Congress Governor Goyega Oyitola. He was said to have earlier promised to deliver for the ruling All Progressives Congress. The traditional ruler who says he is of the opinion that kings should be political revealed that he can vast votes for Oyitola because of his prompt payment of salaries in the state. The Deputy Inspector General of Police for Southwest Johnson Kokumo has reassured the people of Oshun State of the forces determination to enforce peace and prevent electoral violence during the voting exercise. Speaking with journalists during an inspection exercise, the DIG further explained that the force will prosecute anyone found culpable of breaking electoral laws in the process. The area has been calm. We are on top of our game. Deployments have been made, nothing untoward reported so far. Laughter on the faces of all operatives participating in this exercise. So, definitely you should expect that will impact on performance. When you are motivated, you will perform well. A number of arrests have been made. Those who have violated the electoral laws those who violated the electoral laws have been arrested. They are currently undergoing interrogation. By the time we finish with, that, with the interrogation, they will be processed through the courts in synergy with INEC. Meanwhile, election observers in the ongoing Oshun State election have lauded the people of Oshun State for coming out en masse to vote in their preferred candidate, while urging security agencies to improve on their operations. Chairman of EDA Resource Center, Olai Raju Suraj, in an interview with TV360 correspondent Jide Olaniron, explained that vote buying has so far not been observed in the process. Also speaking, lawyer and civil rights activist Abiola Akiode expressed confidence in the security agencies to ensure that violence does not break out at the polls. The thing that we've seen, um, so many factors must have been responsible for this, is that there are quite a number of impressive turnout of voters um, so far, uh, which is what we really hope for, which is what we're looking towards, and um, that for us would be the uh, foundation for what we would expect for the integrity of the electoral process. Uh, and we want to see how we can have free, fair, and also um, transparent process that would increase the integrity of the outcome of the election. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the organization uh, is a bit rowdy, unlike what you see here. What you see here is actually a different um, situation from in other places. Uh, I'm not really seeing the effective, you know, control of the security agencies to manage such a situation where you can have a smooth sale and movement and, uh, of the uh, electorate on, uh, on the queue. Uh, and that, we hope, can also improve if things can be done and if uh, the uh, officials in charge are listening uh, at this point in time, this is something to quickly attend to so that we don't allow an uh, easy breakdown of law and order. But like I said, so far we are not seeing the blatant also um, vote buying process uh, of canvassers uh, on also some of the trackers that are also uh, associated with the electoral process. And like you said, uh, this is also one of the units which are just about 63. Um, 
register for voters and according to the report there are over 50 of the voters that have been here so if you measure the um, rate of turnout with that you can be saying you have over 60 70 okay. percent of turnout of the registered voters so we hope that that will be replicated in quite a number of other the polling units with this once we have massive turnout of genuine voters not the ones that are bought to come and vote well we've been out um, since morning and um, it, it appears very peaceful and there seems to be some uh, comparatively better you know uh, turnout hoping that because as at last election there were just about 50 percent uh, people who had their PVC who voted but we do hope that there would probably be more than that but um, um, in some places we have, we have seen a very large crowd and of course one of the things that uh, bothers us about vote buying but it's not as uh, it's not very conspicuous so we are just we hope that it's not happening you know so that um, at least we'll be we will use this as a model to address the issue of um, vote buying but it's also possible that um, there are other strategies that are being you know, uh, deployed for that matter. So I think for the for every polling station, we have uh, um, um, police. You know, and we have also seen quite a number of um, road safety. You know, so the law enforcement agents are behaving very well. They're not across. I think we were also around Ojoba. So we saw the EFCC. You know, also Roven, which is quite an interesting development because that would also warn you know a lot of people who plan to vote to steal the votes and also we also haven't recorded any uh, violence or disruption you know of the election so it appears that Osho states are ready and they are committed to ensure that this uh, vote goes on free and fair well that's all we have on Oshun decides 2022 at this time many thanks for watching